But I don't see how this is in any ways a political matter. Minister Castro's sons were not involved in any incidents that had to do with any abuse of government property, uh, any purloining of government resources. And I saw the ages of the two young men. These are adults. I don't see that Minister Castro can be expected to answer for the behavior of his adult children. And that's where I would leave it. I know that, in fact, he certainly clearly would rather that these incidents had not happened. But how he treats with that is a family matter. And I don't think that it is my place to get into that at all, at all. And about the aspect of perhaps the fact that they got the ministerial good treatment, so to speak, insofar as the way the police department dealt with the issue? Well, I don't know enough to speak authoritatively on that. I saw what ACP Williams said. I saw what Herbert Panton said, and he seemed to be making a lot of sense when he was talking about the difference between a charge sheet and a court book and making the case that charges were never laid. Uh, my limited understanding, which says that the police involved may have acted with more force in the circumstances than was required. If that is so, and as a consequence, the officers involved, or the particular officer who was going to do the charging, decided that let's, let's, let's work this out. I will charge, and in turn, these people won't sue me or the department or government for any kind of abuse. I think uh, that's all to the good. I, 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 again, it wasn't as though the young men were involved in the commission of some absolutely serious crime. Unfortunate, unfortunate incident, unfortunate set of circumstances, but if they worked it out, I think that's fine.